Good morning, folks. The solar flaring has hit X-class range. The coronal mass ejections have continued, but no big ones have been aimed at Earth. We have more to watch and some top science articles as well today, but we are starting with our star, and we're using 131 angstroms to see the flashes of light from the flares. Most were at the same departing group top right. One did occur at the incoming group top left, and that will be the place to watch for Earth-directed eruptions in the coming days. Pulling up the X-ray flux, you can see the surplus of flaring events, including the X-class flare. Definitely an uptick and together the most notable flaring outburst of the year. We can see those events and parts of their ejections here, and also on the south, the collapse and plasma release of a filament. That one produced a CME as well that should just barely miss the Earth. No shortage of space weather at the moment. We also have solar wind. The coronal hole stream hasn't onset too strongly, but it was still able to produce a brief geomagnetic storm yesterday evening. It has waned back now, but further enhancements are expected in the coming days. The thing we're watching is the sunspots. None are out of flaring possibility. Top right is departing enough that it would be hard to produce a strong one aimed right at the Earth, and it's the incoming group on the north that is most in focus. It's enormous, containing several interacting polarity regions, and will face Earth over the coming days. Eyes on the sun. Let's go to the articles and start with an excellent challenge to the standard dark matter model of cosmology. We had gone over the evidence for intrinsic dipole features in the cosmos three years ago and how that is completely unexpected. Here we get confirmation and a reminder that there is no way to get that if their view of the universe is correct. Chalk one up for plasma cosmology. Rounding out today, we have an interesting paper trying to model the geomagnetic field over the last 100,000 years to recreate the events we know have occurred. They used four models, but none capture all of the events. In fact, the only one all of them capture is Lachamp. This is true of basically every study of the geology. Different parts of the world are affected differently every time, and when we look at the major 12,000-year and half-cycle 6,000-year events we have seen discovered and covered in more depth, we see only about half of them were able to be recreated with their models, and again, Lachamp was the only one they all got right. They do, however, all show the modern decline at the right side. It's a good reminder that they still have a long way to go in mechanistic understanding of geomagnetic field variations, and that for now, the primary focus should be on the cycle and how it's tanking once again right now. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about these topics with our playlists and our books found in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.